It's a late November cold snap in Kelowna, and two third-year business students are going to the lake for a swim. Yes, a swim. I have a fleece vest in here, my down vest as well. I've got towels, extra layers. A down, a down vest. I mean, yes. that's, a, that's, a, that's the high quality. When you're jumping in the lake and you're putting on <laughs> a down vest. I've done this before. I know what I'm doing at this point. I took a lot of persuading yes, to get us exactly. to jump in here. It's going to be freezing in there. I've got so much to do today. I've already got a cold, but I mean, we're doing it for a good cause. That cause is the Community Recreational Initiative Society, or CRIS, a nonprofit that uses adaptive equipment to enable people of all abilities to enjoy the outdoors. For example, kayaking in the summer. Monies raised from this event will go towards a fully accessible new facility on Mission Creek. CRIS is an amazing organization. They do so much. I think that it's really important that the community really understand that these essentially two full-time staff and then um, a wide variety of volunteers do so much. I really want to make sure that the community is able to see that. We have two ways that we want to generate money for this cause. The first being we want to get fantastic local sponsors in the community to come do booths at the event. The second being pledgers. So we want people that want to get involved in this event, contact us, we can get a pledge for them and they can start going around the local community and getting these funds so that they can effectively ha you know, go in the water and have a lot of money for CRIS. My New Year's resolution is to take part in Kelowna's biggest ever polar bear swim. We challenge you, Kelowna. Don't let us down. And there they go, these brave young souls, not afraid to get cold and wet to promote their polar bear dip, something that hasn't been seen in Kelowna in quite some time. I personally am someone that takes part in polar bear swims every year, and I think that the fact that Kelowna doesn't have one is really a big hole in the market here. Why not take what is so successful in so many other cities and bring it here and make it about more than just a New Year's resolution, make it about charity. There was Winterfest like 20 years ago or something, but the thing is we're such a large, vibrant community. We know we have 150,000 people. We need to have more events like this, you know, more events that get the people in the community out, getting the people in the community excited. Um, you know, Peachland has one and Summerland has one. They're smaller communities, but you know, Kelowna is just such a fantastic place and people love to do this type of thing. We think that this could be a legacy event that goes on, you know, for decades, hopefully. And it's not just a quick dip in the lake at Tugboat Beach that is on the docket for the first day of the new year. It's a great opportunity to get dressed up first. And there will also be activities for the entire family. The theme we're going to be doing is it's going to be a beach theme, so it's going to be a kind of a luau theme in the middle of winter. We're going to have a photo booth with New Year's resolutions. So you can have a whiteboard and then draw on your New Year's resolutions of what you think that you want to stay committed to your New Year's resolution. We're also going to have a variety of uh, children's activities, so face painting, we're going to have a lot of balloon animals. We're also going to have a variety of entertainment. So it's going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be hot chocolate and, and uh, timbits to warm you up. So there's going to be a lot of things that we will be having. One word of advice, bring some shoes because I am free. My feet are frozen right now. <gasps> Sonia, how was it? Refreshing. <laughs> definitely a little bit colder than Vancouver even in January, but definitely just as much of a rush. <laughs>